Guys are surrounding me. Stop it. No, no, no. We're not surrounding Don't you. Don't surround me. You. We're not surrounding you. Keep six you. feet Calm back. Down. Calm down. I'm not allowed to record or take photos in a post office. Are you familiar with Post 37? Yes. What is your name? Uh, I'm not wish to give it. Okay. Can you get me off? Do you have some identification? Uh, no. No? Okay. Can you tell me your name? No, thank you. Okay, I'm going to ask you to leave. You're on private property. This is private property. Hey guys, Patriot First Audit's back with another set of videos that demonstrate First Amendment auditors properly exercising their rights in public. Check the description for links to today's videos, and please remember to subscribe and help support this channel. Let's get right into today's videos. Hold on, slow your roll. Do you see this yellow tape? I have not once passed it. All the way back there on the sides i haven't went in there i came from Where'd the sidewalk from? i came from the sidewalk over there which i'm not even required to give you that part other than that i don't answer questions i'm not here to help you with your investigation slow your roll california law knows you you know i i'm not moving along arrest me then arrest me let's go put up yellow tape and i'll go on the other side of it sir i didn't sir I came from the sidewalk. There's nothing saying I can't come over here. That's for cars. So you're telling me if I wanted to go visit that sheriff department and go in there, I couldn't walk up that sidewalk and go into the sheriff department? It's a yes or no question. All I'm saying is that Would I be allowed to go to the sheriff department? Is this an active crime? I'm not over there. If you have business with the sheriff's office, you're allowed to go into the sheriff's department. Either I am or I'm not if, right I, if I am allowed. This is an active crime scene. And I'm not gonna go into your, I'm not gonna go into your active crime scene. Are no, I'm not, sir. So do you have your ID on you? Not giving it to you. Okay. I'm not required by California law. You know that. Come on. You're being detained right now, so you are required. Are you aware of identification? Did you just get Did you just graduate or what? No. So California What's your name, sir? Let me help you with a little What's Hold on. Name? Stop. Hey. Slow down. Right Slow now. down. Your name Slow is. your roll. California law, I only have to identify if I'm arrested during the booking process downtown or pulled over in a traffic stop. You know that. Yeah, that's California law. Get your supervisor. Get your supervisor if you don't know the law. Before you violate my rights in California Penal Code 148.G, 52.1, and lose your qualified immunity and both have a lawsuit on your hand, get your supervisor. California Penal Code 148, Section 8. Every person who attempts by means of any threat or violence to deter or prevent an executive officer from performing any duty imposed upon the officer by law or knowingly resist the officer by the use of force or violence in the performance of his or her duty is punishable by a fine not exceeding $10,000 or by imprisonment. But subsection G states the following. The fact that a person takes a photograph or makes an audio or video recording of an executive officer while the officer is in a public place or the person taking the photograph or making the recording is in a place where he or she has the right to be does not constitute in and of itself a violation of subdivision A. And as you heard the cop admit, he knew the law. He was just hoping that this auditor did not know the law. Perfect example of why you should always know your rights and always record the police. You guys are about to get schooled, but if you want to go put up some tape, I will gladly walk over there. The tape's already up, as you can clearly see. So you're telling me, okay, do you want to walk over with me? I can show you where I came? No. Because you know I'm right, huh? Where you came from. You know I'm right, huh? Where'd you come from? I just explained to your partner, ask him. How about, I'm asking you. Ask him. I'm asking you. Ask where him. You come from? So, how'd you get in on this crime scene? Name and badge, please. Deputy Real, badge 2406. Perfect, appreciate now, where'd it. Where'd you come from? Name and badge, please. Deputy Ferris, 2436. Appreciate it. And I'd like an incident number if you guys could generate a star or an incident number right. because I am going to be doing a FOIA request on your body cam and your body cam. Okay. It's right. public record. So, can you guys create a, a number, please? And give it. Yeah, we'll be sure to do that. Now, am I still detained? Am I still detained? Or am I free to go? Don't tell me to get out of here. My question is yes or no. Am I free to go or am I detained? You said I was detained. So no, if I, I get out of here. if I leave when you say I'm detained, that's a, that's a crime. I couldn't get out of here. Am I detained? Yes or no? Get out of here. Am I detained? Yes or no? No. All right. So, so I'm feel free to move. Move along. I'm free to go then. Yeah. So I'm free to stay. Get out of here. I'm free to stay. Why don't you call your supervisor and ask identification laws and do a little more research before you make a mistake again like that? Luckily, I'm not here to give you guys a hard time. I'm not here to sue you guys. It seems like a good but if you guys try to violate my civil rights, 
you will lose your qualified immunity. You can be held liable. Your union, nothing will protect you. Take me to jail if I'm, if I'm breaking a law. Let's go. You're a clown, buddy. So now you know my last name. Can I at least know what, to, what would you like me to call you? You can call me a guy with a camera. Guy with a camera? Yeah, that seems pretty friendly. All right, guy with the camera. I'm not here for anything nefarious, nothing uh, bad going on. I'm just recording. I'm not here to give you guys a hard time. I didn't even say one word until you did. I'm not saying you said anything. We're just saying that as far as the tape goes, it goes all the way up. To yeah, and I never passed any tape. I can guarantee it. I have it all on film from the time I entered to the time I got here. Can you show me that film? Nope. But you can walk over there to go to the corner and you can see it. You guys got three deputies here. I'm sure your two partners can keep an eye on me without anything bad happening. Go up to the corner. Walk on the sidewalk as if you're a pedestrian. There's no tape there saying I can't enter this. And if there was, when I, I've been, I was here for 10 minutes before your partner came. I'm sure you would have told me to leave right away. That's your job. That's why you're sitting out here getting paid X amount of dollars to keep people out of here, correct? Out of the tape line right here. Not on a public access area. Seriously, before you guys violate my rights, go take a look over there. It'd be, it'd be worth investigating. And then if you feel that you guys need a larger crime scene i'm just some advice put some more tape up and i'll go on the other side of it but eventually that tape line has to stop and i'm going to be on the other side and are you going to keep pushing it back where's the limit that's what your boss put up right i would imagine or the detectives or the fbi or somebody i'm not passing that if you guys want a private conversation you better take it somewhere else Seven four seven guys. How much backup do they need for one cameraman? Looks like my rights are about to be violated. What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Guys are surrounding me, stop it. No, 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 we're not surrounding you. Don't surround me. We're not surrounding you. Keep six feet back. Calm down, calm down. Everything is fine. You're forcing me to go in this direction, guys. No, you're forcing yourself to go in that direction by walking. I want everyone in my sight. Name and star number, please. WMA Blackover County. Name and star number, please. Is that all you want? Yes, please. I'll give you more than that. I'll give you the number for internal affairs and I will encourage you to call them in the morning and complain about me to them. Oh no, I'm not gonna complain. I just want your name and star number. Okay. You haven't done anything to violate my rights. Okay. So, You've been very cordial. Hold, 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 hold on. I just want your name and star number first. Stop, stop, nope, no. name and star number, then I'll listen to what you say. We, we control. Name, no you don't. You think you control. You work for me. You work for me. You work for me. They work for me. I don't answer questions. Those questions. You don't answer questions? So once again, what are you hoping to achieve? 1046.2.1 subsection A requires you to identify cordially. I'd like to see your ID card or you can just verbally say it. No. 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 Are you going to break policy? Before you guys came, I wasn't bothering anyone. I was recording peacefully. They even said code for to another vehicle that went by. I'm not doing anything wrong. We're no just, laws being broken. We're just trying to figure out, what's up, Rick? We're just trying to figure out why you're here. Why are you filming Hick? Why would I not film him? He are looks. You, are you hoping to catch or something? He looks are important. Something? Are you hoping to uh, document something? I don't answer questions. Appreciate it though. Ma'am, name and badge, please. My name. Is that we tell a judge my name? So is that your name? My name. There you go. You're a public servant. It's not hard to say your name cordially. Not hard at all. Yes, how can I call you? Uh, like I explained to the other gentleman, guy with a camera. No, first name? Guy with a camera. I don't answer those questions. I'll answer some questions. You know, you guys are being nice, but I don't answer those questions. Now, if one of you want to trade your personal ID and then for my personal ID, we may have a deal. Uh, no, no, no. Well, that, you see, why would, I, why would I want to do it then? And to clarify, the other gentleman, he did illegally detain me. He said I was free to go, which means I'm free to stay. Are either of you detaining me or am I still free to go? As long as you don't go by. Am I free to go? That's my only question. I don't need directives. All right, appreciate it.
So I'm free to stay too. So this is the number for internal affairs. That's my name, my badge number. Perfect. I strongly recommend that you call them and explain to them everything that I did here today, okay? Are you a supervisor? No, I'm not a supervisor. You can see that. I can't see that. You can't? Do you see chevrons on my sleeves? Uh, so you just like to be sarcastic with the public by paying your salary, huh? No. You're, it's you're a funny working. guy. I'm going to call you Mr. F so you got Mr. Clown and Mr. Funny. It's not working. So in this first video from Anthony X audits that we see today, uh, we immediately see the sheriff's deputies try to intimidate and escalate the situation by saying that Anthony X audits is behind the tape, which he is clearly not. Um, he sees something else off camera that we don't see. Um, and it's always just so wacky to me how resistant these officers are to giving their name and badge number. They are always so resistant in doing so, but they're quick to ask for this individual's identification. Uh, which is an indicator that they are either going to violate rights, they don't want to be identified for some other reason. Um, it's so important to record these officers and what they're doing, get their information, so then you have a record of all your interactions with them because when you go before a judge or if they arrest you, they are going to refute what you say, and, and this video evidence is the only thing that's going to prove otherwise uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next video. Look at the plastic they've got up here. Hi. Look at that plastic they've got. You know, have you? Okay, you got some nice plexiglass here. Are you recording? I don't think you're allowed to record in a post office. Pardon me? You're not allowed to record or take photos in a post office. Are you familiar with Poster 7? Yes. Your rules and regulations governing conduct on postal service property? Okay, but you can't take pictures back here. You want to read your poster seven, where it says photographs for news, advertising, and commercial purposes okay, is, is permitted. Is there something I can help you with in here? Sure. Right now I'm gathering some content, but yeah, just here in a moment. I'd like to get some stamps here in a moment, please. Okay. Sounds like you're being a little bit snappy with me. No, That's I'm all. just uh, being... Let me know it's about okay regulations to... with the... And I'm letting you know about poster 7. Okay, where at on poster 7 does it say that? It says, uh, where it's out here, it's posted out here, you got it, now you're post off. Yeah, okay. you want to take a look at it? I've got one back here. Yeah. This is what I do, I go around and... Are you new at the post office? Or? No, I am not. Could I get your name, please? Yep, my name is Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. It's up you here. You have to get permission from the postmaster. Under certain specific conditions. What's Only under name? certain areas. Huh? What is your name? Uh, I'm not wish to give it. Okay. Can you get me off of your camera, please? I'd, well, I'd like to. It. I'd like to get some. I'd like to get some uh, stamps, right. please. Let me call my boss real quick. And again, I'm just here gathering content for news and advertising commercial purposes. I'd like to get a few stamps and I'd be on my way. Right. Some of you have uh, different packaging supplies. Hey, Lenny, I've got a gentleman in here with a recorder and camera and taking pictures. Okay. Okay. She's calling her uh, manager right now and reporting us or at, okay. asking questions. Well, I needed to hear. She's doing the right thing and calling a superior, a supervisor. And okay, gotcha. They seem to be filling her in on. Okay, perfect. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. Bye. Okay, what kind of stamps do you need? What'd she say? Your supervisor say we're okay? 
what kind of samples do you need? I'd like to know what your supervisor said if we're okay that's because it, like well, there may be other people that come in here and do this, so I'm just like the. Well, that's perfectly fine. What kind of stamps would you like? Uh, I'd like to get some three one cent stamps. I need two two cent stamps. I need one three cent stamp. If you have them, anything's fine. I have all of those stamps. Oh, great. Some post offices don't always have them, so. Three one cent stamps. Yes. Yeah. One or two two cent stamps and one three cent stamp. Okay, so are you, you guys have a requirement for masks in here? Or? Yes, we do. Okay. I see you didn't have a mask on when you first came up to service me. No, because I was six feet away. Two two cents. Two two cents and one three cent stamp, please. So, is it postal? rules for you guys to wear masks or and is that all i can get for you today those three uh do you have any of your one dollar red fox stamps in today i have dollar stamps they're not red fox yeah oh those ones uh no thanks i was looking for the red fox stamp okay. today what else can i get for that's you? all i need today 10 cents can i get those in a Envelope, please. I don't have one here. They don't supply small offices with those. Every place I've been to, they always have them. They have the. The Albion Post Office does, but Concord and Springport do not. Uh, every receipt. place I've been to has them all around the country, so I've never run into a place that hasn't had them. Apologize, I'm out. You don't have any envelope, any of your wax envelopes? I do not have any wax envelopes. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm not going to be in your way. I'm not. I don't like you to record me or anything either, so you're probably going to have to step out of the uh, out of her office. Please do not record me. I have the right to record. No, you do not have the right to record purposes. me, sir. If you're going to cause disruption, you're going to have to leave. Shh. 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 Can I help? Can I get a money order? I need a hundred dollar money order. Like the crazy people out today or something? Yeah, I'm going to No. One oh one twenty five. Thank you. That's crazy. I don't get it. <clears throat> you said five cents is the change, honey. Twenty five. Twenty five. Okay. All right, in this brief video from Freedom News Now, we see that these postal workers aren't aware of Poster 7, which governs the rules and regulations uh, inside a post office and indicates that you can take phot photographs uh, while on uh, federal property of the United States Postal Service. They try to tell them to leave. You can actually see the first worker that came up to them. They go to the phone and they try to call somebody, presumably the police. And what actually probably happened there is the police said, hey, He's in a postal service. He's allowed to film, which shows that these types of First Amendment audits are actually having an impact on the police departments. They know uh, they're educating these postal offices. And hopefully the next time somebody comes in to do a First Amendment audit or somebody with a camera, maybe not even doing an audit, maybe doing a news story um, or filming like these individuals, they'll know that they're allowed to do that and they won't even bother calling the police. And these education educations and First Amendment audits are having an impact and treating these individuals of what the regulations are and what these people are allowed to do and you as a public are allowed to do on their property and film them. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next video. This guy seems to be scared. What's going on, guy? Uh, not much. Can I help you? No, I'm just just uh, taking some footage over here. Okay. I'll get out and talk to you. Oh. That's probably not a safe place for you to be.
Could you hold me out with one of the answers to our parking lot? So how you doing, buddy? I'm doing well, how are you? Pretty good. Do you have some identification? Uh, no. No? Okay. Can you tell me your name? No, thank you. Okay, I'm going to ask you to leave. You're on private property. This is private property? Uh-huh. Who's the owner? You say in County of Denver? So it's public property then. Okay, I'm, I don't want to argue with you. Well, I mean, you said it's private property, but it's not. It's public okay. property, sir. Okay. Well, I'll get a supervisor out here. Yeah, I'd appreciate okay. you do that. Okay. Can I get your name and badge number? Officer, I'll give you a business card. Officer Danos. There you go. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Can I get your name and badge number, please, sir? I'll get you a business okay. card. Please stay back there, sir. Can I get your name and badge number? I will get you a business card. Please stay back, sir. Oh, look, these guys getting aggressive. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we're going yeah, to get you a supervisor out here. I'll put it on the back of my truck. You can pick it up off of that, sir. I don't Lucky know you. Scared. You have not been patted down for weapons. Why would I need to be patted down for weapons? I haven't committed a crime. So we got this guy here who's getting a little aggressive on me already. You can call me a good citizen. Okay. So what are you what are you trying to accomplish here today? Well, I just uh, I'm an independent citizen journalist. I came out here to get some B-roll footage of. Uh, the police department, people okay. doing their voting and You're, you're and stuff. welcome to do it from the sidewalk. Well, I'm welcome Where to do it here, Where you're at right too. now with the cars coming in and out and these gates, this isn't a yeah. safe place for you to be. Well, do you see how this is a raised piece of concrete? Yeah. If you step off of there, you could fall into a car. I understand. Thank you for your concern. Okay. I'm, I have a supervisor coming out okay. to talk to you, be, okay? That's great. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Uh, supervisor told him to bounce. That's right, buckle and bounce, buddy. Supervisor sergeant right here told him to bounce. Nothing they can do. Nothing you can do. Gotta tell me this is private property? Ridiculous. At least the supervisor was a little bit smarter. Told him to leave. One education at a time, guys. That's what I always say. Trying to say this is private property. Yeah, he said it was private property. Then I said, who's the owner? And he said, uh, the Denver police or so, the county of Denver, he said. <laughs> How stupid is that? That's public property there, pal. That officer getting all scared. Get away from me, sir. I don't know you. You haven't been patted down. Why do you need to pat me down? I'm just a guy with a camera on public property. Typical cop, man. That, you know, like I said, not all cops are bad individuals, guys, but, you know, they say that uh, the statistic is that 40% of, of cops beat their wives. Well, if I had to guess, I'd, I'd say that that guy with the mustache who was getting all irate and aggressive, uh, he's one of those. You know, you can just tell by their demeanor. He didn't like me questioning his authority whatsoever. And uh, he doesn't have authority, that's the bottom line. So, until I commit a crime, I'm their boss. And that uh, sergeant came out and knew it right away and told him to get out of there, and that's what they did. Trying to act, they're trying to act like for your safety. You see, this is a, you could get hurt if you fall off this concrete here. We all know that the police, the Supreme Court has ruled that it's not their job to protect us, right? For our safety. Their job is to enforce the law. That's it. I'm not breaking a law, so leave me alone. Don't give me any cop explaining about for your safety. It's not a safe place. You can go film on the public sidewalk. It's like, no, I can film on the public sidewalk and I can film right here too. There's nothing you can do about it. You know? This is not a restricted area. This is open to the public. This is public property. Bottom line.
heard you're requesting a supervisor. Um, I didn't, yeah, that, that uh, the guy came out huffing and puffing, telling me to get on the sidewalk, so. Uh, but the other supervisor already came and dismissed the officers and told him to get out of here, so. So you didn't need us? Uh, I didn't need you oh. guys. Okay. All right. Yep. All right, have a good one. Uh, actually, sir, su supervisor, sergeant. Actually, I would like to talk to you real quick. I do actually, do, yeah, I do need you. Do you think that you would be able to uh, educate your officers about public photography and that I'm allowed to record on in public like this? This is sure. public property. I can do it. I'd appreciate that, man. Uh, the guy came out saying this is private property. This is not private property. I asked him who the owner was. He said the county of Denver. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's public property. And huffing and puffing, saying it's for my safety and this and that. You guys know the Supreme Court has ruled that you guys have no obligation to protect my safety, only to uphold the law. So I'm not breaking the law. And uh, yeah, if you could just educate that officer to not lie that this is private property yeah, and just not to give me a hard time. They're being aggressive and uh, you know giving me unlawful directives. So okay. I can do that. I appreciate that, sir. Can I get your name and batch number? Johnson, 94037. I appreciate that, Johnson. All right, guys, so at least Johnson was willing to uh, listen to me and he seemed pretty professional. Uh, I doubt that he's gonna go to say anything to those other officers, but. You know, at least he wasn't huffing and puffing and trying to kick me out of here or anything. Front license plate. That needs to get a front license plate. The guy's that Ford Ranger up there, no front license plate. He's uh, his job is to enforce the law, yet he's over there breaking the law. All right, guys. So it's been probably 20 minutes since uh, that interaction. So I think I made my point. I'm allowed to be here, and uh, I have the right to be here, actually. All right, so this audit from Denver Metro Audits, be sure to visit his channel and give him a subscribe. The more I see his audit videos, the more I can tell that the Denver area police station, sheriffs, officials, people in libraries are getting the point and are being educated that he is allowed to be there and, and do this auditing. The beginning of this video, uh, Officer Damos comes out pretty hot. You can tell that he was being uh, somewhat reasonable he understood. He immediately called a supervisor. It's obvious that this station probably received some level of First Amendment audit training, and you can tell by their interactions. They don't press the matter. They don't push on him. They immediately realize what the situation is, and they call for a supervisor. The detective, however, Detective Matthews, those are the types of officers that end up you know, getting somebody hurt. You can see that he's telling him to get back. I don't trust you. I'm going to put my business card on the back of the truck. Immediately cagey, you know, hell, a pushback, uh, very dangerous. You could tell that that situation was about to escalate. But thankfully, he provided the card fairly quickly. Denver Metro Audits realized that the situation was quickly escalating. And with officers like that, you don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to pull out a taser? Are they going to jump on you? Are they going to go hands-on? So I think Denver Metro Audits really handled it very well in this video. 
please be sure to go to his channel and uh, give him uh, a subscribe. Uh, that's all for the videos today. Uh, make sure you tune in and throw a subscribe and a like on this video. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.